Hey, so in this next video section, um, we have a really short video for you. And the reason is because when we got to LA, we were really excited and we had huge plans for what we wanted to do in the city. We had some friends to visit. We had tickets to Disney World. Um, and what happened was uh, we arrived at Hollywood uh, RV Park, which was really cool, like very amazing, lots of very interesting paintings. Um, we met the host who was just really friendly. He's been running that park for like 50 years. Super great conversationalist, just felt amazing. And the first day after we arrived, um, Rowan got a fever and we were supposed to go to Disney like the very next day. So that night she was sick all night and that next morning she tested positive for COVID. So we extended our tickets for Disney, changed the date and, you know, decided to hunker down and wait it out. And a few days later I got sick and a few days after that grandma and, you know, so on, so on and so forth. So we spent two weeks in LA when it was supposed to be about nine days. So we extended by about a week and most of the time that we were in LA was mostly spent at that RV park. And I have to say, I didn't even, I didn't have conversations with people. I mostly just watched movies and hung out in bed. So it was kind of a two week period of being sick and waiting it out. So a lot of our trip was actually spent driving little drives in the car. Every day or two, we'd go out and, you know, go somewhere just for a half a day, a couple of hours, and then knock it out of the car, just kind of look out at a scenic overlook or have a little outing and then we'd go back. We went to um, Mulholland Drive and um, we saw the Walk of Fame um, for a tiny little day trip. We also went to Malibu and then drove up to Neptune's Net, which is a restaurant up there that's really famous. It's, had, it's been featured in a lot of movies. Um, we had fish and chips there and saw the sunset. So it was just a lot of little tiny drives trying to stay kind of slow and get healthy and um, you know not expose ourselves to people too much and that was our experience of LA. We are driving along the scenic Mulholland Drive in LA checking out all the famous movie star houses and we just saw the Hollywood sign. Beautiful Beverly Hills Each star cost $75,000 for the person who uh, was nominated for them. So there's a nominating committee. The committee decides if, they, if you, you deserve a star. And then you have to pay $75,000 to get your star placed. It says Thanksgiving, there will be no leftovers. <laughs> Just hanging. Fine, you can do whatever you want. With my kids who think it's really fun do to whatever you want. text messaging, fake text messaging on the whiteboard. <laughs> they don't have phones. I know, so we deny them social media so they invent their own version of social media. They're so weird. <laughs> you guys excited for Halloween? Mm hmm We're gonna do a whole bunch of trick-or-treating. What's his name? What is his username? So we prepared costumes for a Halloween party slash wedding. I wore mine for about three seconds and went back to bed. Uh, <laughs> I can't really feel. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, we went to... Uh... <laughs> wow. Thanks. You're welcome. Happy Halloween. <laughs>
kids got a little overzealous on their first um, Halloween experience one of my in the first USA. So they are like, trying to figure out what we are going to do. them donate. by what they are, like Starburst. So we extended the ticket for Disney a couple of days and you know, a couple days passed by and we extended the ticket again and it started looking like, well, maybe we aren't going to make it to Disney or we're going to have to somehow sort of just stay in LA until we can redeem these tickets, you know, because it's, it's pricey. Um, but finally, at the very end of the trip, we were able to use our tickets and go to the park and maybe we didn't have the energy that we would have had otherwise, but at least we were healthy and we were able to go and enjoy Disney for one day. Spending the day at Disney was amazing. We had skipped the line tickets and it wasn't very busy, so we were able to pick out rides. We discovered we needed to pre-book our rides in advance using an app on the phone, so this required a little bit of planning. All right, you can try to shoot things. We are on Lake Balboa today, just getting some outdoor time. And the kids, I think they're back there somewhere. I don't know if you can see them. Riding around with their grandma on a swan boat. Balboa Park was really close to the Hollywood RV Park. So this was another quiet day where people were feeling under the weather and we just needed something to do. Venice Beach. We're just doing some walking and exploring on a Monday morning. Oh, it might be Monday midday. 21? Kids are eating ice cream. Um, Rowan's, Rowan's shocked by the price. 21. Is it delicious? Uh huh. Piano player? Yeah, yes. You know, I had figured that at some point in this RV journey, we would have to face the feeling of being sick. And when you get sick as a family of five, it usually rolls from one person to the next to the next and you have to wait it out. And so I knew that at some point that would happen. Um, 
I just didn't know it would happen in LA because I was really excited to be there and see all the sights. And I actually lived in LA uh, for a couple of months back when I was doing my student teaching in my early 20s. And I was excited to see some of those places that I remembered. Um, but you know, like, I think I said this earlier in the year, but like life keeps happening, even if you're RV traveling. So um, being sick in an RV isn't something that I was looking forward to, but actually it went fine and everyone just rested and you know we were polite of each other's space so it all worked out in the end